Well, you don't have to be an astronaut to explore space. For more than 30 years, the U.S. Army Kwajalein Atoll has played a key role in missile research and development, but another major part of their mission is watching deep space. Sergeant Angel Ringo has more on what they're looking for. One and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery. 40 years of space exploration has made the galaxy one busy place. Helping to keep track of it all is Altair. This is no backyard satellite dish. This is 450 tons, $200 million worth of radar. The Altair antenna is 150 feet in diameter. We can move at a rate of 10 degrees a second in both azimuth and elevation simultaneously. It's a dual frequency antenna that can transmit up to six megawatts of power in both UHF and VHF frequency simultaneously. So how powerful is that? Well, if a person on the East Coast tossed a metal ball in the air, with one pass, Altair could pinpoint its location from the West Coast. It's quite an instrument, yes. <laughs> Altair is short for ARPA Long Range Tracking and Instrumentation Radar. It may look a bit out of place on its Pacific Island home of Roy Namor, but Altair's location is part of what makes it such a valuable asset. It's a critical link in a network of 26 sensors around the world that detect, track, and identify all man-made objects in space. That includes missile launches, satellites, even space debris that could impact on the mission of agencies like NASA. We have the International Space Station, which is a $30 billion project that's going to be launched the later part of this year. We have to protect those, spa those manned space assets from the space, resident space objects that are already up there. What do you got behind us? While Altair helps astronauts steer clear of hazards in space, it also gives soldiers a heads up on the ground. Military leaders use information from Altair to learn about the location of potential enemy space assets. Once the warfighter receives that information, they know when th there may be a potential adversary's uh, electronic intelligence satellite or photo recon satellite overhead and take the appropriate action. All right, move back. Altair tracked more than 40,000 space objects last year. It's technology that's not only paying off in space, but giving soldiers the edge on the ground. Sergeant Angel Ringo, Roy Namor.